Hello and welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 on my test map for Overdrive. Alright, so in the last video we basically talked about reversing and setting up cell points, uh, reversing into triggers and so on. It was a little bit more um, detailed than the previous part, so part one, that was all about the basics, the controls, the menu itself, uh, just the basic understanding of how to use this amazing mod which is Overdrive. So if you watch them, this is the perfect follow on video. If you haven't watched them, go back and watch uh, parts one and two. I'll make sure to put the link to them videos in the description of this one. So if you want to check them out first, I'd probably recommend doing that. But if you're in this video because of the title, which is going to be about parking, so how we use the parking feature, then this is the video for you. Um, first things first, just want to point out that I have set up this menu a little bit bigger so it helps when watching the video. So hopefully that's uh, a lot easier now. Obviously, I wouldn't have this like this in game because it's massive. Um, but yeah, it should be easier now to see. Uh, so the first thing let's talk about is the actual park feature. So as you can see with this vehicle right now, this park feature has already been set up. And the P just in this area here, you can see is already um, white. It's it's not blacked out anymore or greyed out. But if I just quickly go back to any of these vehicles, this one, you can see that this one's greyed out. And if I tell it to go to park, it will say no parking destination assigned. So we're going to set up the, the, the T7, I think it is. So what we're going to do is we're going to just show you first the setup that I've already done with this park feature. I will point out quickly as well that if you do want to use it straight after some of the modes, you can do. So if it says here, so if you go to vehicle settings and scroll down a little bit, you'll see park at job finished. Turn this to yes instead of no. And then what it will do is only available in modes pick up and deliver and then deliver. So at the end of basically at the end of them jobs, it will go and park in its spot if you wanted to. If you don't want it to and you want it to carry on, then just have that to no. Um, and then what you'll have to do is manually tell it that you want it to park. So let me just show you what I've set up. I've set up an up and down road connecting from what we did in the last episode for this silo over here. Uh, but I have taken it all the way to the end. I've not done anything with the BGA yet or anything over by where the manure is because we're going to do that in this video. But what I have done is set up the park for this McCormick tractor. So I've just called it MC Park, which I thought was pretty funny. Um, and then we're just going to click this button, left click you'll see it'll go and do its thing and park up now I can jump out as well just to show you this in action without me in cab so you can have the setup for each individual vehicle if you wanted to um, all you'd have to do is follow the steps I'm going to show you in this video it's pretty simple and then at least you'll have a designated spot for each uh, tractor harvester whatever it may be but it's pretty cool there you go. And he's obviously come out of the vehicle as well and it's parked up. Now you can set up um, a few different things as well with the uh, most latest version of, of Auto Drive set for FS22. They've obviously before had the fuel automatic fueling, but they've now got the automatic repair. So, for example, if your vehicle you want it to, to go and get repaired, there is uh, different things you can do now to set that up so it's got a spot. As long as you're going for a trigger where, like a workshop trigger, it will go and repair. You can set it up uh, depending on how much damage the vehicle's in or how, the state of the vehicle. But I think there's also a key command that you can press at any point to uh, send the tractor or vehicle to go and get repaired. So let's just have a quick look at the uh, controls and we'll be able to go down to auto drive. There is quite a lot of controls, but you can automatically change it and set it for. Uh, the uh, repair so let's just have a quick look because I haven't tried this yet but I have been reading the change logs and this is one of the added features so you can see that you've got refuel vehicle you can set a key for that if you wanted to and then you've got one here for repair vehicle so if you've got a trigger at any point going through a route uh, you can go and set it to repair so I might actually put that in as well so not only will we, you can manually set it for park vehicle uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to set up now just something a little bit different. I will delete these out after, but I'm going to just put that as one keypad one, and the repair is keypad two. And I'm going to, um, I'm going to just save them controls. I will change it after. Um, I'll probably assign them something better than that. But for the meantime, we'll we'll quickly just do that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set up uh, two points um, with the triggers, and then I think we can actually do this properly. And I can also show you uh, the refuel refueling, the repairing, as well as the parking feature, and all in one video. So there we go, I've done that. It's not the best, but it does the job. Kind of branched it off from this main little track here. Comes into the workshop. I've put a waypoint there, called it workshop. And then I've just put a, a fuel tank here just to refuel from. So 
Uh, should be alright, I put a waypoint there, just call it fuel. So another thing that I've done is I've made sure that this tractor is low on maintenance, low on fuel. You can probably just make out that it definitely needs some fuel. So why don't we, first things first, show the fuel feature and uh, we'll also show the the feature for um, maintenance as well. So we'll start it off from here because it's going that way. I've just done it one way. You'd obviously want to set this up like I showed you with all your connections two way and stuff, but to make the video relatively short, um, I do need to set up so it goes one way and then another. Right. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to press your key. Now I did have to change this because the uh, uh, I didn't I didn't really pick very good keys, but I just put in one on the keypad. So I changed it. So I've changed it to my assigned keys, which was a combination of uh, B and N. And as you can see, it's going to drive to re the repair station. So I just click them buttons, and now automatically on its own, it's going to repair. So if we just keep an eye out here, now it's probably going to tell us it's cost us a bit of money. Uh, but as long as it gets in the trigger, it should automatically repair now. Right, so as you can see, he's just drove into the place. He's now refueling. Um, and it's going to obviously probably take up quite a bit with him being so low. So, yeah, that just shows that these nice little touches that are added into it are, yeah, are added and they work pretty well. So, all you have to do is assign a key to what you want to do with that. And then, say you're in a field, for example, and you've just finished with a tractor, but you know you could go and do something else. You could set him going to go and refuel somewhere or repair if you need it and you don't have to go and do it so I do like that touch that's pretty cool so what I need to do now is just show you the parking feature and uh, we'll go set it up so it's dead easy it really is um, let's say with this, this tractor we're going to do the T8 I think it is a T8 yes it is T8 so let's just say we want to do the T8 and, we're, and you're probably going to set this up from both directions but I'm just going to set it up from this side So we need to connect to where we want to start it from. Uh, so we're going to set recording from here. I think that's fine. We'll check it. That's all right with me. And then what we want to do is probably just maneuver. We're going to go in the middle bay. That can be for the T8. I'm going to swing it around. Because I want to try and reverse this. And then I want to straighten up. That is completely lopsided, but we'll give it a go. Um... If that trailer wasn't there, I'd probably try and go a little bit more forward. But do you know what? I'll just try and nudge the trailer out of the way. There we go. And we'll start reversing. And remember the back when you're reversing, the, the node's always a lot further behind, as you can see. So I'm pretty happy in a minute. Maybe one more. There we go. So I'm happy with that. What I'll do now is drive forward and then we'll come back in a minute and set that. And then we'll set that as a marker. So let's drive forward and we'll connect back onto the left hand side. It's all looking a bit crazy at the moment. Right, that, that should be fine with me. Job done. And then we need to make sure we connect this. Try to straight it out a bit. There we go, job done. So that's uh, connected fully back to the, the main route. And then we just want to go and label this one up as T8. Maybe parking. There we go, last node. There we go, so we'll call this T8 parking. Job done. And as you can see, it's now called T8 parking. There is a mark, it's just under my tractor there, you can see it. So if I reverse a little bit back and we'll start this off and show you that it works. Now this is going to be assigned in a second to this tractor alone. So you'll notice that this tractor, at the moment, the part symbol is blacked out. Now if we went to this one, it's not blacked out because this parking here, this spot here has been assigned to the McCormick. So we need to do the same now for the T8. Now the way you do that is first you need to select which 
uh, waypoint it is and we want the T8 parking so we've selected that and now we need to basically press left control plus the right mouse button on this parking because if I just press this now it will say not assigned if I right click it it won't do anything so we need to press left control plus the right mouse button there we go so left, left control right mouse button and as you saw then it's been assigned now so what we need to do now at any point in time even without that on is press park and what he'll do is he'll go park up and uh, into his assigned spot so we'll just watch him do this because it was a bit of a crazy turn I mean I probably could have done that a lot better in all fairness There we go, he's somehow, he's got it, he's got it weighed up. He's a better driver than me. Faultless. Right into the middle. Can't complain at that. I would have gone probably a little bit more back at that, because the back of his tractor is now hitting, so you wouldn't be able to shut the gate. So what I'd do there is I'd go into edit mode, and I'd drag this back a little bit more. But it means now that if I jump out and uh, I come back to this, I can just close that. So these features are really small features, dead simple, but I thought I'd show them you because they do exist. So you can obviously set up a key to tell the tractors to automatically go and refuel and repair and also assign it its own parking spot. Pretty cool. Right, so now it's time for me to show you the what you can do if you wanted to load up into something. Now, I actually do recommend using pickup and deliver for this. I was mistaken. Load, it's alright, but a lot of the time I've had issues with load. Uh, so I would actually recommend just using pick up and deliver because it will do this exact same thing. So you want to pick up from the manure spot, you want to deliver it to the PGA and you're telling it to transport manure. If you look at load, it's the exact same. It's pretty much the, the same, but you're loading into something um, and I think there's no deliver there. And what we want to do is actually deliver it as well, don't we? We want, it, we want to deliver it to something, yeah, maybe, but I, I've always found it a lot easier if you're using the pick up and deliver again. Uh, but I just want to show you that you don't have to um, have a trigger you can actually manually load into something and it should wait for you and then when it's full it should continue on to the BGA I'd also like to point out as well that this feature is on course play so when course play is all ready to come out and it's not in the healing development stage that it is right now I will be doing videos on that and the feature that that's uh, always been on course play is actually really good as well so if not better uh, but I thought I'd point this out that it's not all about triggers it will wait you can load into the back of a trailer and then when it's full it will carry on so you can set up a route say if you're manually loading up some sugar beets or manually loading up some manure like I'm going to show you now so on pick up and deliver what we want to do is again the spot we want to pick up from is the manure spot we want to take it to the BJ and we've selected manure as the type of material that we're delivering so what we need to do basically now is just set it going so there's no parking assigned because I'm on this trailer so if you did want to change the parking for a trailer for example you can actually select the trailer instead of the, the tractor and you can set up that has its own parking space um, and at the end of the job it will go and park it which is again something really clever so do keep that in mind because it is the exact same method what I've just shown you for the tractor is it is for an attachment all you have to do is select by toggling in between the two um, pieces of kit you might even have a um, something on the front but as long as you're toggled to that one then you'll find that this is not grayed out anymore or it is grayed out depending on what you've assigned so you can assign it to either trail it by having that highlighted on your attachments up here and you can have it to your tractor by highlighting that depends what you've got so as you can see he's now sitting there or she is sorry waiting for me to load this up so let's crack on with this might take a little bit of time I did try and use a relatively small trailer but not something too small not too far off it's got to be close maybe two maximum I have tipped some over kind of missed I don't know how I missed a, book, uh, a trailer that size uh, but he's all right. He says, I'm full. I'm full enough now. I'm going to go. Uh, so let's actually have a look to see his volume level. He's at 85%, which is something you can't change. So if you go to the settings and go to your tractor, um, you see how it says 85% here. You could change that 
to 100 you could bring it down I'd probably recommend starting off with 100 but then if you know you haven't got much left just adjust it but then again if you're gonna do that you can just say continue which is why this buttons pretty good as well because you're telling it right we've, we've, we've done everything just go to the next spot which would be the BGA which is where he's going now so if you also do want him to go back And what you need to do is click this a number of times. Let's just say we want him to do three. He should now restart from the start point and go back because we do need to load up a little bit more manure. So this is going to be the good question now because of this trigger. It does have a collision right on the end. Now I'm hoping if I press the F5 button, it will show me where the trigger starts. So you can see this little box here. I don't know if you can just make it out. It's like an orange box. That's showing me the trigger. So I think it starts just about here. So that's always a good feature to have. But we want to turn that off. And it should. Fingers crossed this works a treat. And it has. So as you can see this is now dumping in. If we actually just move around here without getting covered in manure. We can actually see that it's now full up. It's actually full up. So it's probably stuck in a bit of a loop now because of that. Uh, so it doesn't help when you've obviously got a BJ that can only hold 7,000 litres of manure, which is pretty crazy. So what we wanted to do now is just imagine that this is empty. Imagine the BGA can actually hold a lot more than that and it's empty. So the first thing you're going to do um, in this situation is just tell it to continue on to the manure spot. Uh, but what I am going to quickly do as well is I'm going to confuse it just for the purpose of this video I'm going to empty it out but what it should do now is you can see that this number has gone back down to 2 and it's now on its second loop and we need to get into the tally handler again and if we're quick we can just do that get that out of the way go and what I will actually do is I'll change the mode on there it's gonna drive over the manure now it's gonna be like what have you done that just shows my skills We're all over the track now manure everywhere so what I'm gonna quickly do is I'm gonna jump into this I'm gonna change the settings I'm gonna reduce the fill to about 20% just to show you that that works as well. So this is a really good feature if you want to obviously load up. Uh, you don't want to do the carting. Um, and it's, it's really good for sugar beets as well. Say if you've been storing sugar beets in a... Because uh, you can't put sugar beets in a, uh, a silo. You could store them in a shed. And all you've got to do is set this up with, it, with the shed, for example. And then move it to a south point. And you can be scooping all the sugar beets or the potatoes into the trailer and uh, yeah you could be uh, using a carter or a, or a worker for example to do all the carting for you and also what you could do if it's a long route to the cell point and you're loading up sugar beets for example from your farm shed that you've got st a load stored in you could have three or four multiple vehicles all at once doing the exact same thing and have them staggered out so they don't meet each other and then yeah you could just be keep filling up these trailers and it'll be a lot quicker process than you driving it down there because they'll be driving it while you're loading up the next wagon and so on so it is pretty clever and it is really useful and I just thought it was worth showing you that it's not just for triggers so you don't need to wait for a fill trigger um, you can load into it manually it will wait for you it'll wait for the percentage that you set it as as we've just set this to 20% um, and a lot of the time you are going to be doing it with a cell point that won't fill up unlike the BGA it's now only 7,000 for manure which is crazy it really is so on that note I am going to leave the video there hopefully you found it useful hopefully you found it informative in this video we've learnt about the parking feature how we can assign it to tractor but also you can follow the exact same method and assign it to an attachment um, we've also learnt about the features that are now in the game about automatic repairing having a, a key set for repairing so you can just set your tractor to go to a workshop where you've got a route going through the trigger and the same for the fuel and then finally I showed you how to use the pick up and deliver feature or the mode 
whilst using a, a manual load feature so you can actually manually load into it uh, best uh, example I give you for that was the sugar beets or the potatoes if you wanted to do that with a cell point and you could also be really clever about that and have multiple multiple vehicles going on one route at the same time um, so I did think again that was uh, definitely worth showing off in the next one what I'll be doing is the unload combine feature which is probably the best feature about it. it's a bit a little bit similar to what I've just shown you now but the clever thing is it works with you and the harvester so definitely worth a watch that one so keep an eye out for that I will be recording it straight after this now so it shouldn't be too long after this video has come out so thanks for watching give the video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it if you're new to the channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one